We are part way through spring break in Oregon and next week it'll be Washington's turn. So if you're looking for a place to go, if it's last minute, we've got you covered with some ideas. Our Devin Haskins talked to Travel Oregon about some places that might be worth considering. Morning Devin, I always love these types of lists. Yeah, and if you're like me and you love a good road trip, well, buckle up, buckle up, let's go for a ride. First, let's start on the Oregon coast near Florence at the Oregon Dunes National Recreation Area. How fun does that look to go rent a uh, dune buggy or a sandboard, explore 40 miles of sand dunes from Florence to Coos Bay. Or if you want to stay indoors, just up Highway 101 or the Sea Lion Caves. They're America's largest sea cave and a place where you can hear and see the sea lions up close. And if you've ever heard them over on the coast, you know how loud they can be. All right, next, number two, let's head to Southern Oregon to the Klamath Falls area. If Crater Lake is on your list, an hour south of there is the Crater Lake zip line. You can soar across nine zip lines from 100 feet above with views of surrounding lakes and Cascade Mountains. All right, third on this list is in Central Oregon. How about exploring a cave? Or yet, or better yet, what about at night? Wanderlust Tours offers cave tours during the day, but starting next week, they begin their starlight tours. You'll spend a couple hours underground with a tour guide, and then if the sky is clear, you can emerge to a starry night. Number four takes us to the John Day River territory. Don't forget to visit the Painted Hills, which of course is one of Oregon's seven wonders. And then take the kids fossil digging behind Wheeler High School in Fossil, Oregon. And number five, if you're a fan of Yellowstone or you're like me, remember the movie City Slickers, you know the one with Billy Crystal, then check out Wilson Ranch's retreat in Fossil. Bring the boots and cowboy hats and spend a day or night on the ranch. The ranch covers more than 20,000 acres, and once there, you'll get the chance to ride horseback and spend time working the ranch and even driving cattle. It's kid friendly, too. All right, after working the ranch for the day, of course, it's time to relax, kick the feet up. Out in southeastern Oregon, there's the Alvord Hot Springs near the resort near Steens Mountain. Explore the Alvord Desert and then relax into the sky in a pool filled with 170 degree water. Then spend the night in your very own private cabin out in the middle of nowhere underneath the stars. And that is your six of sunrise. Oh, man. Road trip, anybody? Yes, <laughs> and let's do yes. it. The yes. hot springs, the fossils, and uh, what was it? The caving. The caving. Oh, that yes. all sounds so cool. Yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you, there's nothing like the stars down in, you know, south central, mm. southeastern Oregon. Oh, Love just it. Beautiful.